One year on, since a volcanic eruption killed and injured dozens of people in New Zealand, the country marked the tragedy on Wednesday with a dawn service and a minute silence. The eruption on White Island, also known by its Maori name Wakari, killed 22 people and left nearly all survivors struggling with severe and long-term injuries. There were 47 people on the island when it erupted, including tourists from Australia, Britain, China, Germany and Malaysia. The island was marketed as the world's most accessible active marine volcano and popular for day tours and scenic flights. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern paid tribute to the courageous efforts of first responders and health professionals. Ardern also sent a message of love to survivors and affected families. In a community like Whakatane, nearly everyone would know someone involved either on the island or involved in the emergency response that made it so deeply personal. From the first responders and hospital staff who I met the next day, to those on the water and in the air who flew directly into danger. Mourners gathered in a Maori traditional meeting house where the event was also marked with song. It's been a difficult year, um, but just seeing everyone come together and talk and share and cry, yeah, it's been beautiful. New Zealand's workplace regulator last month filed charges against 13 parties who it said had not met health and safety obligations in taking the tourists to White Island. The island has been shut to tourists since the eruption.